<laughs> okay, and so I'd like to introduce you today, Mr. Carl, and I gotta say your last name right. Callowart. Callowart. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Carl Callowart is uh, 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 represents uh, Measure and. Uh, and that's the guys who make this really super duper excellent motion capture suit. But Carl is also now associated with the Gaming and Animation Institute of Fredericton. I'm providing a one year program in uh, game design and level design. And uh, am I saying that right, Carl? No, yeah, I will explain everything. And uh, he's going to give you the whole rundown. But the session is really all about how to make money in CGI. And to that end, I'd like to hand the floor over to the exalted Mr. Person. So, okay, let me get, let me get, let me get, Mr. Carl, well, 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 yeah, that guy. Okay, hello, uh, welcome. Uh, I got a whole PowerPoint presentation a little bit to make a little bit of it. Uh, some of them know me, some of, some, of, some of you know me, some of them not. Um, so, I'm going to welcome at the game. That's a new uh, venture I started uh, about a month ago. And. Uh, I represent also now the gaming and animation student at Fredaton. Um, give you a little package if you're always interested, you can always ask more questions about it. But uh, here today, I, I see that I work for a company called Funny 2D. That's my own mobile company. I write mobile games for Autodesk. Uh, I wrote all the curriculum for Autodesk um, about gaming aspects. Uh, I write uh, also mobile apps for uh, universities. Well, everything concentrated on the 3D mobile apps, so using 3D content. And currently I'm working on one of uh, people who are afraid of spiders, and uh, so together with the psychologists uh, in 3D. And I make those app, uh, 3, 3D games that I export them for the iPhone, iPad, Android, uh, uh, all those different platforms. I used to work a lot with uh, Source Engine, I made all the tutorial DVDs for the Source Engine. And I work also for a company called Measurement Inc., uh, where I do a lot of motion capture. Uh, last week I was working at Raven Software, if you ever heard of that company. Two weeks ago I was working at um, Rockstar Studios in New York. Uh, next week I'm at, actually at the uh, Trading Sony Entertainment in San Diego. And then the week after I'm working for um, uh, Unity presentations in uh, Columbia, Bogota, Bogota, Colombia. And then the week after, in Paris, the week after, and Portugal, and the week after, back in Los Angeles. So I do a lot of mocap shots around the world. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little quick overview of uh, actually what the game is. Uh, it's a game that I mentioned with the Ultimate 20 program, where we uh, teach you how to make uh, mainly mobile games, but also like PC and Mac games. Well, why mobile games? Why everybody is like, looking for the iPhone? Uh, a lot of people don't realize that there's about 900 million users on the web, web users. Uh, you think, wow, I should make games for the web, you know, or PC or Mac. But when you realize, when you look at uh, mobile apps, every year there's, uh, the last five years, a growth of 250 million users on smartphones. So the user group of making mobile games is much bigger than web games nowadays. That's why everybody is focused on that. And so we teach the students how to make, uh, especially for the iPhone and the iPad, because the iPhone is almost the most sold console in the world. There's more than 120 million consoles now owned from the iPhone. And there's only one, uh, the DS, the Nintendo DS is sold more, and that's it. And the rest is iPhone. And, and also the Android platform that's coming up. Uh, I'm currently busy on some Android uh, games. And also integration with the Facebook games. Uh, social games are a huge revenue. Okay. And of course, Google Chrome, uh, the new version is coming out. It's very interesting. Uh, are you aware of it? What the uh, big thing is? So I'm, I'm aware of Google Chrome. I like it. It's a nice little fast browser for just that kind of poking around stuff. But what are some of the new features uh, in the browser? The, the big thing is it's going to be native, native client. That means when you make it like a game in Google TV, it will run natively in the browser, no plugin installed. Like when you look at Flash, you still have to have the Flash plugin installed. The Google Chrome, you don't have to install anything. It will run like that. So Google Chrome has also come out in the App Store. And when you make it a game like for your iPhone, like you can pour it to Google Chrome App Store, sell it on the web make some dollars there. And the people play their like, download and play names in the browser and even uh, large screen views. They don't have to install anything. And that's for the game market tremendous. Even who has used uh, Unity here already before? Okay, some of them you are gonna give a little brief overview. Uh, but Unity 3D is a um, uh, the problem with Unity 3D at the moment for the web is you need to do six most clicks in order to install the plug in in your browser to play it. 
For most people, six clicks is too much. People don't want to do it. So that's why Google Chrome is really big. There's no clicking involved anymore. Okay. Uh, my school, of course, is tuition. Yeah? So uh, what I wanted to offer to my students was like, hey, I make games, I publish games, I make money in it. Why can my students not do it directly? Why learn it and then try to find a job? Why don't you do it right away in school? Okay. So you can pay off right away tuition. Okay. I, we make already 3D content, why don't we sell it? But selling 3D content is very difficult, it's the game who actually sells it. Okay? Uh, and if you make a game in school, that you sell, or to free games, and that's why you don't talk about that free games actually make a lot of money nowadays, is it's a perfect demo reel. And if you can go, like, hey, look, I made a game, and I sold, I paid off my tuition, and I'm done. Then you prove already to your employer a lot. Okay. So this starts all with uh, very good uh, quality education. Okay. And so what I did, I hired quite a bit uh, industry people at my school. And this is one of my instructors who actually, they fly in. Uh, on every two months, somebody flies in. Or they online follow up with you. And, like Rafa is a very good friend of me. He did all, all the previous for Avatar, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Bioshock. He did Incredible Hulk, Panic Group, and Superman. So he will be reviewing like your cinematics if you make them. Another one, uh, he actually is coming down to my school to teach. He made the video game, uh, you know, Crisis. Okay. He did all the modeling, he's the lead model for the Crisis team, so I went to fly him to Frankfurt to meet with him. And he is also modeling the new stuff for Avatar 2. Avatar 2 has been made at the moment in Germany at Crisis. They make everything in the game until Crisis, the movie, before I start to shoot it. He's doing all the modeling. So he's actually coming over to Fredericton to teach the organic modeling. I have Jeff Wilson. Jeff Wilson actually works for Autodesk. I used to work at uh, Blur Studios and still working for Blur Studios. I think everybody knows Blur Studios. Yeah. Um, he did all the facial setup for Halo Wars, X Men, Massive Effects. So he's actually coming over to my school then to do uh, two days teaching face animation and follow up all the work. While we still have instructors teaching this. Uh, we have the. Uh, Stefan is very interesting. He's um, he works at Ubisoft. He's a professional designer at Ubisoft and a professional 2D guy, artist at Ubisoft. Teaches two or three days at Ubisoft campus, and two or three days he uh, works at the production line. So he knows very, very good. He's one of my instructors too. Matt Murray. He did uh, Super Monkey Ball uh, for all the oceans. So we want to have a whole variety of different people from different backgrounds. Chris Cowan. He works at Goji Games. I think most of you know Goji Games are Mountain. And then we also signed up the texture artist from Blizzard Entertainment for World of Warcraft. Come to teach texturing. Uh, the animation was done by the lead animator from Sony Entertainment San Diego. And the uh, motion capture is done by the lead mocap from DreamWorks. So those are my online instructors. Who I mean, Some of them fly in, some of them are pure online. But all the classes are face to face, but they follow up with the work review and help with contacts. Okay. And <coughs> So what was that thought about? Like, I want to make sure that my students have the best to start to, to make a game. So they get a laptop with all the software, so they can keep on working at home. And rendering outsourcing, uh, what does that mean? You know when you render, it takes some, sometimes two hours to render a high quality image. And you sit there for days waiting for rendering. So we set up a new system, you just upload your render software, and you're rendering scenes, and they go to a computer with 180 gig RAM, Everything souped up, so what normally is in, for a normal computer from two three hours crunches us down to three minutes for rendering. And, and that is how it works. And, and of course, we have an online library created from 11,000 movie files. And your the e mentors who will guide you through your game, like why you make a game, you can send them in online questions to follow up with that. And of course, we do burst like in two weeks, I'm actually at Studios. No, three or four weeks, I'm at Blur Studios. California, and then we do a, a webcast from out there, from out the whole production line. I was a consultant for Blur Studio, so I have a good relationship. And of course, we bring in all those people. And so, I, I can explain the business side how it works. You, you make it 3D content, at the same time, we guide you to make a game for the iPhone, iPad, Xbox, until it's published. Because I went through the process of everything I have.